How are you doing the kale AK? Which one was that? The um Tony and Ethan Hawk too. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> You should just pick one of them, though. But he said and. He did. Oh, what do you mean? What lights do we do? I mean, color for the lights. Oh, yeah. Something good. Yeah, I'm Tony and Ethan Hawk Tua, right? Got it. Holla at your boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we just got back from the dispensary. I grabbed a couple of things um, from my local Vera Life. Shout out to, who was it? Someone, Prince King. Shout out to Prince King. He recently asked me in the comment section, what like my favorite strain and oh shit fire truck <laughs> do you hear it yeah. can, i don't know if y'all can hear it you can probably hear it there's a fire truck going by but he recently asked me uh like what my favorite like my like favorite like recent strain is like the one i've been with a lot recently and what my favorite king palm flavors were and I just like immediately remembered this like really great sunset Mac that I had and I was like, I wonder if anyone has that shit. And uh, I, I saw in Verily if they had like half ounces of it going for like 90 bucks. So I scooped a little half ounce from the homies at Grassroots. It's uh, 30 point like 9% THC. So that's kind of crazy. <laughs> These guys, <laughs> saving lives out here. Is Coda gonna sing? Sometimes Coda sings with them. He thinks they're singing. Did you hear him? I hope you guys could hear that. <laughs> but I mean, since Pennsylvania's medical program's like, very like they have to put literally every single thing on it uh, i don't know if you guys know this but like it's probably the same with your dispensers too but it's actually 0 0.025 percent thc and 30.9 percent thca our dispensary reads all chca here but grass uh grassroots i don't know i don't think the last time i had sunset mag it was by grassroots but i'm hoping the grassroot one is just as good because they didn't have I think the other one I had was Matter. That one was really good. I also grabbed a little cart real quick, a little uh, Cloud Nine by the homies over at Supply. Fucking love Supply carts, they're really fucking good. And while I was there, I picked up an eighth of this Brownie Scout number three by Rhythm. So everything's falling around and stuff. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. But. I was super excited because the homies over at Flower Mill just sent me and Danny out these literally amazing, not grinders, mills. They're flower mills. They don't grind, they mill. So don't use grinders. Grinders fucking suck. Use mills, <laughs> right? And I'll, I'll tell you why. There's so many reasons. Actually, before they sent these out to me, the, the owner, Brett, uh, hit me up on the phone. We talked for like, I don't know, like, two hours or something he's he's amazing he's like the greatest guy me and him share like a lot of the same views about about like cannabis and like the industry and he's just like a really great guy and he sent out uh these beautiful mills not grinders and he explained to me like so many things that just started making sense about how when you're when you're milling weed it doesn't tear through the buds when you when you use a regular grinder they all have teeth and they tear through the buds but with a mill, 
you're just like naturally crumbling the weed down. So it like keeps the integrity of the weed intact. He also said he doesn't really believe in like keef catchers, but a lot of people have been bugging him to put keef catchers in. So if you grab one of the, the standard versions, the standard versions and his original design uh, don't come with keef catchers. He sent two over for Danny and one over for me. He sent her two of his standard edition ones. These are the next gen two point this is the 2.0 and this is the 2.5. This is a two inch grinder, 2.5 inch grinder. He said she used the 2.0, keep it in her purse for when we're going out. Like literally I told you the dude is amazing. He's great. She told him his favorite color was purple. So he sent two purple ones out for both standard editions. They don't come with Keef catchers, but if you want to catch Keef, this might be the most innovative thing I've ever seen. The premium version, has so many little little hidden hidden gems about it it's amazing super innovative like crazy innovative product uh actually i kind of want to smoke so <laughs> i grabbed i grabbed my favorite bomb slash my most beautiful bomb because i got sunset max so i was like i really wanted to just smoke it out of a really nice bomb so let's let's mill up some of this grass roots and see if it's as good as the last Sunset Mac I had. I hope it is because they only had half ounces. <laughs> and this shit is not cheap. This is like top shelf shit and it smells like it. Oh my God. That's amazing. Holy shit. Smell that. Okay. That's lovely. Oh my God. That smells so good. I know. Pass up. <laughs> I just need one more sniff. <laughs> All right. Let's mill some of this up real quick. Um, oh man, this shit looks like like the little exotic shit I used to buy off like the homie downtown when I was like a kid. <laughs> His shit was really good too. But uh, the flour mill, it doesn't it doesn't use teeth. It uses this like milling process where it's like this kind of catches onto the bud and it just kind of you just kind of let the the power of the magnet there's a magnet in here and in here you just kind of let the magnet kind of do its thing it it works faster than ever, any other grinder that i've ever used even though it's not a grinder it's a miller it's it's different and for those like i said those who are into like keef catching this thing has a fucking trick up its sleeve like no other i've seen <laughs> just an amazing job uh, that they did with this. It also, it like I literally have never ground it down, or milled it down, <laughs> and had any like left on the top so far. I've been using this for about a week now. And something really cool about it is that it separates the stems from the rest of it. It, it like naturally keeps the stems on top somehow. I don't know how they do that. Also something really cool about the standard is like, it's the color all the way through. Like the grind or the mill plate is, is the color. The little miller thing is the color. Like everything's purple about these. And I think that's one thing that Danny absolutely loves. <laughs> it's just like so much purple. Also they have green, just throwing that out there. Green's the greatest color. And they have it. It's, I think, one of my like one of my new favorite products probably ever. I'm literally just looking for excuses to smoke at this point, just so I can use this, <laughs> just so I can use the flour mill. Like it's literally crazy. But real quick, I want to try some of the Sunset Mac, and then we'll go over some of like the cool features that the premium version has that the standard doesn't. Cheers. I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never trapped in space I won't stop till I hear him say I'm 
up again I got tired eyes, need a cup of blend That's right, in the AM that's my only friend No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon I lose track of time, yeah, move fast and climb A new class divine, yeah, true passion shines How much is this one? THC, THC point six seven THC 8, 31.25 It is getting stronger and stronger out here <laughs> <laughs> I ain't complaining. Till I hear him say. Oh, oh, that was really good. One, one more, one more, real quick. It's a little wood. Okay. Now, like I was saying, the the, the premium one, the premium one actually has um, some little little tricks up his sleeve, which is amazing. So first of all, the premium one does come with a Keith, a Keith catcher. One of the nicest Keith catchers I've ever seen, by the way. I was talking to him about it, um, and he, he he said to me something that that really stuck with me. He said he said everyone. Everyone's key catchers have a screen on them, and s screens are they're square. They're just like, you know, like they're mesh. They're squares, but trichomes are circles. And why'd you try to put a circular object down a square hole? And I was like, that's crazy. I never really thought about it like that. And he said his screen, and it's true, is actually uh, it's not a screen. It's it's not a screen that that catches Keith. It's uh, it's it's like a, a metal sheet that he's lasered a ton of little holes into. And it's like one of the most innovative grinders I've ever seen. And the best part about it is if you're into Keef, awesome. You have this really amazing, brand new, innovative Keef catcher that's literally one of its kind. I don't think there's any other screen like this out there. And it's super easy to clean. You can you can clean everything. The It unscrews like that. Your Keef is in the bottom. This whole bottom piece, the key cap, it just comes right off. And from in there, this little sheet just comes right out. I just still have a little bit of weed on there. I got to dust off. <laughs> but that little metal sheet I was talking about just comes right out. You can just throw it in some, in some ISO. And if you don't want a key catcher, take this part, you put it aside. This part screws right back in. Now you have a chamber with no Keef catcher and just like a really nice deep chamber and, and the little walls from this part protect the threading on the inside. I, I literally love this thing. I love it, but there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. There's more than it does. Uh, and I don't even know where to start. So let's grab these first of all because there's so many more things it does. Um, I even kept the packaging because I usually show like an initial unboxing. I was so eager to use these that we opened them immediately. Actually, we took a little footage of that. Here's, here's a little footage of us opening the package because I was so excited. I knew I wanted to use it right away that I, I knew I, I wasn't gonna be able to wait to do this video to unbox them. So here's a little video of me and Danny unboxing these. Look at on you. Look at how tiny it is. I love these so much. I want to open these right now. Mill wax. Ooh. I can't get this open. I'm so scared I'm going to break it. Just open it. What do you mean? I don't, don't want to rip it along here. Just open it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm, am I dumb? I'm dumb. <laughs> Thank you. I just ripped it alone, man. There you oh, go. It's so pretty. It's Danny hand size. It's so cute. Ooh, it's even purple on the inside. Oh, that's so cool. That's a nice deep 
chamber there. I love it so much. Just kind of tear the little plastic thing. Ooh, it's bigger on the top than the bottom. Ooh. I've literally never seen that before. It's smooth as shit. Also, same color on the inside, I love that. It's like a tricone catcher. And it looks like, you can tell it looks different. Whoa. That's wild. Cut him in, the people wanna know. The people wanna know. Where were you last night? Were you out being so handsome? You look different here in that video. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, you did have different air in that video. Re recently, my son was playing. I feel like this explains how I felt about these grinders when, when we first got them. And my son sent me a clip of him playing video games with his friend. He was like witnessing this glitch. Well, here's the clip and, and how I felt when I opened my, my, my box. <laughs> Look at that. Holy, brother. Clip is so funny. It's clip, that clip is so funny and we have to use it like all the time. Like that's gonna be a new thing. Anyway, where, where was I at? Shit. So you can put your screen right back on. It just literally sits on there. This, is, this whole thing just literally just comes off. It just, and just like sits right on there. It's, it's so cool how it works. But also it has something even, even cooler. He said like, this is really good for any occasion. You can use it for um, for vapes, you can use it for blunts, you can use it for joints. And like, I know blunts want a chunkier grind, but here's the coolest thing, right? So this in here determines like how chunky your weed is milled down to, right? The coolest thing about the premium, the, the standards can't do this, but the premiums can. This right here, untwist, right? That comes right off like that. This grind plate comes right out. So they're, they're calling this one a three. The one that it comes with is a medium. It's a three. The standard versions, like the one Danny has, the purple one, these, these all come standard with a three. You can't change these out. But the premium ones come with five options. Fi extra fine, fine, the medium one that comes pre-installed, you got coarse and extra coarse, and we've literally tested all these out. If you vape your flower, you're, you're gonna want a one or a two. If you're a joint smoker, you're gonna live in that two to three, the, 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 the little fine to, to medium range, that's where you're gonna wanna be at. King Palm exclusive smokers, four. This is where we're at right here. <laughs> and five, you can do five too, but if you're smoking like like backwoods or something, like you're gonna want four and five for like your king palms or or your backwoods. The, these are where those live at. It really is just like, a, like they have, they have something for everything. And I don't think that any other grinder actually offers like this much like customization with their stuff. It's, it's really amazing. Also, it's like basically effortless to break your buds down. And he, he told me that it'll make the weed taste better. And until it got here, I was super skeptical about that. But we did like, a bunch of blind taste testing. And like, I literally sent Danny in the other room. I took a bud, I broke it in half. I threw one half of it through her old grinder. I threw half of it through the flour mill and I put them in identical bowls and we used the same bong. And every single time Danny was like, this one tastes better than that one. It's a more fuller hit. It's like cleaner, it's smoother, like it's not like the hugest difference, but Danny could literally pick out which one was ran through the flour mill and which one wasn't. And she preferred the flour mill one literally every time. It was wild. It's true. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's really wild because I didn't believe it, but I think this <coughs> this might be the end all be all for stuff. So like I said in the beginning, stop grinding your weed, man. Mill that shit. We're the millers now. Like we don't fucking play. I'm fucking Jason Sudeikis. She's Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> We're the millers. <sighs> Daniel was knocked over the light just now. <laughs> Holy shit. But uh, he's super cool. Also, he has, oh, thank you. Also, he has, 
uh, this stuff called Mill Wax, right? This is like a cheap little add-on you can buy, but basically anytime like you clean your grinder or you know what I mean? It starts to get to that like, uh, like gunky phase if you don't feel like cleaning it. He said you could also use it for, for that time, but you just throw a little bit on this outer ring and it's basically just like a lubricant to help it to help it slide better. So there's this little mill wax you can get. You can get all these really cool different grind plates that just slide in and out. We've literally tested them all. They work amazing. This, this truly gets, gets my stamp of approval. If you're gonna buy one really nice weed thing for yourself, buy one of these. They come in multiple different sizes and price ranges. They have like a stainless steel one that's like 95 bucks. They have a premium aluminum one, which is I think 75. They have uh, premium two inch ones and 2.5 inch ones. They have standard 2.5s and two inch ones. I think these are like 35 and these are 45. It, they're honestly pretty fair prices for like how, how good these grinders are. I'm not sure how much these extra grind, grind plates are. Or mill plates? I guess they're called mill plates. Yeah, mill plate. It says it right there. <laughs> Gosh, I think they're right. I think they're like 14 each. I forget what it said on the site, but really cool fing people. Really awesome product. They they have like engineers and fing like really innovative people working there and they're they're doing they're doing this the right way and they're pumping out really amazing products i hope you guys can give them give them go check them out you can check them out at uh flower mill i think it's flowermillusa.com yeah flowermillusa.com uh, i don't know if i have a discount code if i do i'll leave it right here i also know that they're coming out with something big soon so like there, there's like a, the, a new thing coming out. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it or not. <laughs> he, he told me about it, but he told me about it like in confidence. So I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it or not, but like awesome, and like another really cool, awesome thing is coming to their website. So by the time you see this, it might already be out there. You might be able to go check it out, but I'm hoping I can I can get my hands on one of them when, when it does release. Cause this is really cool. It's a really cool product and I, I, I like it a lot if you can't tell. New millers, not grinders, millers. We mill now, we're sophisticated. We're not peasants that <laughs> grind anymore. The crazy thing is like, you know this is a really good grind because I have like, I have a lot of very high end grinders, like a lot of like $100 plus grinders. This is the one and it's sub 100 bucks. I'm gonna throw that out there right now. I think this one is only like $80. This is a sub $100 grinder that is giving you 200, a $200 grinder experience and be better and better. I literally have a $175 grinder. This is better than that. Just throwing that out there. I'm not gonna name any names, but this, this is better than that. This is better than I think every grinder I own because it's not a grinder. Because grinders are for peasants. And we're not peasants. We're millers. We're sophisticated motherfuckers that get the best out of our marijuana. <laughs> uh, Patreon, I'll see you in a second for a little bonus ash. We'll mill up some more of this shit, throw a, little, throw a little joint together and smoke it. Yeah, Patreons get a whole nother little session with us. They get a whole nother bonus most smoke session at the ends. Well, not really the ends. Well, I guess the ends too. And they get the raw footage from the video. But to entice you to get Patreon, here's a little clip of, of that of that video. George is texting me, holy brother. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's fancy. Everybody else, it was amazing. I, I hope you guys have the chance to, to check one of these out, man. I really do. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All the shit normal YouTubers tell you to do at the end of their videos. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace. <laughs> You're funny. If you were a chick, Who's the one guy you would sleep with? John, John Samos. Samos. What? Did we just become best friends? Yup.